When it comes to depression, it is not a laughing matter. More than 280 million people on this planet suffer from it. And what the symptoms go through, it can cause poor concentration, feeling of guilt and low self-worth, hopelessness about the future, insomnia, changes in appetite or weight, feeling low energy, like not wanting to do anything. And it can lead to thoughts that can lead to a permanent solution to a temporary problem. It is something that most people have to deal with when they're overcoming something. An emotional numbness that we cannot escape from. For everyone out there that is feeling depressed and they need to talk to somebody, talk to someone that you can trust. But if you need extreme help with it, talk to someone that can actually give you help on it, like a therapist. Most insurance companies out there can provide that for everybody. But if you're Phil, on the other hand, you use depression as a weapon to make yourself look like the victim while making everyone else look like an asshole. Good morning, everyone. Phil here, and welcome to the Level 1 Podcast. Oh, great. It is morning when he did this, but good evening, good morning, and good afternoon. Welcome. Here's a video of Phil going crazy. How are you all today? I hope well, I was having a good day until this. Hope I find you well. As we continue on with this awesome streaming week, the first week of the official busy fall gaming season. And he thinks that he's going into his radio voice, talking about the hardcore begging season. Because that's all he cares about, is trying to play all the hot loot new releases in autumn, so he can get that day one views, baby. While telling detractors to go fuck themselves. How you doing? And clown mode engaged for that one. Hello, my children. <laughs> then we had um, a special AC fight where it had one weak point. You had to hit it, and it wasn't vulnerable anywhere else. And you had to kind of focus in on that weak point. It was pretty neat. I had a good time with the, with the game yesterday. Yeah, he had a great time with Armor Core 6, having his hand held throughout the entirety of it. So, I finished my stream. Everything's good, right? After the fact, I start seeing people tweet... Well, I guess it's even called tweeting anymore. Who knows? And also leaving comments on the videos. Oh, is it... Also, before he continues on with this, yes, it's still called tweeting. I don't know why they're going to call it Xing because Xing sounds like you're about to break up with somebody. Isn't it funny how Phil knew the optimal build for the Sea Star boss? And I'm like... Well, yeah. You're having your hand held through the entirety of it. And you also are looking up guides for it. So no shit you know about this game. How did I know the optimal build? I'm like, wait a minute. The build I'm using is dual miniguns and this dual rocket launchers. And this was explained or suggested to me like two streams ago by someone. Yep, having his hand held because he's going on and on about how people that don't allow it, they, get, they ban people. But Phil allows it, so it kind of ruins any form of challenge for him. They had said that this was a build they were using, they really liked it. So later on in the game, if I have the ability to use it, I should try it. AKA looking it up. So I already had one minigun. I liked it, but it was starting to run out of ammo. I bought dual miniguns. This is actually how I ended my last stream, dual miniguns. And again, I liked them, but they kept running out of ammo. Yep, cheesing his way through the entirety of the game now because a fan slash viewer recommended it to him. <laughs> so much for him not looking at the chat. So I needed to upgrade my missiles regardless. I was using plasma missiles, and those aren't very good. They're only good for, like, stunning but they're not very good for damage output. They're pretty good depending on how you want to play it, Phil. But then again, Armored Core 6 is dependent on how you play. That's why the builds are there. It's to cater to your own play style. But Phil wants to sit there going, Nope, this isn't good. This isn't good either. Why? Because someone in my chat told me. So I was like, I gotta upgrade my missiles anyway. So, you know, I, I basically was going along with a suggestion of a viewer from like two different streams ago. A.K.A. he still let the chat hold his hand, essentially letting the chat play the game for him. And then I used it. I was like, wow, this is really good. It worked really well. Okay, I'll, I'll keep going or rolling with it for the stream. That doesn't mean I'm going to use it for the rest of the playthrough. It just means I'm going to use it for the stream or whatever. Even though he'll use whatever this fans slash viewers suggest to him, and he'll keep doing it until he gets bored with it. Then you get people complaining, oh, you see, uh, he already knows... 
the optimal builds. What are you talking about? It was a viewer suggested build from two streams ago and I just happened to use it. I mean, I was using tons of builds during this playthrough so far. Because they told you about it ahead of time. That's the reason why you're using the quote unquote optimal build. So I don't, I don't get what you're saying. Then I, I start getting comments on videos. Oh, see, Phil copied Asmund Gold because Asmund Gold used the dual minigun, dual missile launcher build his whole playthrough. And Phil obviously watches Asmund Gold and just copies everything he does. Isn't it funny? Because previously, also when he played Elden Ring, he had an Asmund Gold build. And I'm like, you guys gonna understand something, all right? I don't watch other streamers. Bullshit. He's saying all the time that he doesn't watch streamers, but yet he'll bring up random streamers that he will not name saying that they're rage quitting Armor Core 6. So him saying that he doesn't watch other people's content is a bunch of bullshit. And he does watch Asmongold. Then again, it goes back to the whole thing about Asmongold. He's like, oh, I have no idea who he is, but yet proceeds to talk about how Asmongold is living. So he does watch other people's content, even detractor content. I do not. If I ever watch another streamer, I'm watching them play a game after I've played it already. No, no. God of War Ragnarok says hi. When you are playing the game, you are watching other people play the game, and you're bitching and complaining about how people who died at the bear, or that one guy that died at the bear, apparently he has more attention than you, but meanwhile, you're the one that shouldn't be treated like a piece of shit. Even though... It's well justified why you're treated that way. It's like, Phil, stop lying to your audience. I never watch another streamer play a game ahead of me because I don't want to spoil myself, ever. But yet you said that you watched his videos before. All right. I have not literally ever seen a moment of Asmund Gold playthrough. Not once. The, the little bit I saw was when he was talking about me while playing Diablo 4, so I just inadvertently saw him play some Diablo 4 when I was listening to what he had to say about me, and I literally paid no attention to his gameplay. I was just listening to what he had to say about me. Nice cover-up, Phil. We all know that you're making this up, though. He's like, oh, I don't watch his gameplay, but meanwhile, he's, like, taking notes, like, oh, he's using he's using that, huh? Oh, I'm gonna write this down. Oh, this is, this is comedy. This is great gold. Oh, what else is he doing? Oh, he's using this? Oh, uh... Oh, what's, what's another piece of advice? Oh, he's... Go touch grass. I'm not gonna do that one. You see? So, I didn't pay any attention to this nonsense. I, you know, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you're saying that you're not watching it, but yet you're hesitant to keep going with it while looking to your chat. So, you're hiding that, Phil. And we are catching on quickly. But this is what I mean. Like, people are always out to take anything that's going on with me and kind of discredit it or make an excuse for it. It's toxic behavior. It's in Even though you're the one doing the exact same thing to other people, Phil, you're projecting it. Even though what we're doing isn't toxic, we're pointing out your hypocrisy and bullshit, what you're doing is making conspiracy theories while saying that detractors have secret discords while they're creating sock accounts and conspiracies about me while he is talking about it with his own, quote-unquote, secret discord. Incredibly disgusting, cult-like, toxic behavior. Even though you have a cult, clear as fucking day, your fucking community, in quotes, is a cult. Phil can never do well at a game. It's always because he's cheating, or because someone held his hand, or whatever. You admitted to having your hand held, Phil, and now you're like, oh, he can't have fun because he's having his hand held. Even though, Phil, you're giving yourself away more and more, yet telling the truth about yourself as time goes on. In this case, there was a suggested build by a viewer two streams ago. Two streams ago. It might have been last stream. might be the stream before that. You're still taking the chat's advice. I remembered they had mentioned that, and I was kind of working toward it. By the way, I've done a... Then again, this is coming from the guy that doesn't remember Jack shit about combos in Street Fighter VI or how to implement certain moves. So, him automatically going back to two streams ago it's highly fishy other things i've tried other builds you know people are now suggesting a tank build they think that the tank build is actually the ideal build for the game yeah again phil it's all based around how you want to play the game if you want to go for the tank go for the tank if you're going to go for the four legs go for the four legs if you want to be quick and fast with the sword that is heavily on you but 
you're not wanting to think for yourself and create something on your own via trial and error. Instead, you're wanting the chat to give you the answer to everything. And that the tank build will help a lot with bosses, so I might try that. I also upgraded my body and my head and, and, and my arms and other things as well yesterday. I wasn't told to do that. Even though they would have told you which ones to pick. I'm, I'm doing things naturally you would do in the game. Even though he's not doing it naturally. He's asking for people to help him with this. So, I don't get where this comes from except, oh, you know, people just want to talk shit about Phil, as usual. Even though you talk shit about everybody, per usual. And yet, all of a sudden, you're trying to push that away to the detractor community. You're trying to push it away to other people that do not deserve said ire. But you have a paranoid feeling that someone's going to expose you, which has been done multiple fucking times, and yet you're still going to try to push blame onto other people. It goes exactly along in line with actually what happened on last night's late stream, which we'll talk about too. On my video... Yeah, I was talking about the streams, blah, blah, blah. Now he's getting into the meat and potatoes of it. Video for, for, you know, the Honda stuff. And it's basically... And now he's going back to his whole thing about how he got master with E-Honda, which I've seen the videos of it, which he tries to play it, quote-unquote, legitimately, but whenever he gets his ass kicked, he immediately goes into spam. So... Him saying that, oh yeah, I'm good at Street Fighter. Spam, 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 spam. Basically, you know, you get the idiot trolls who are trying to be shitty and stupid. I thought you were the one that was being shitty and stupid. And then someone actually left a really nice comment. And I actually posted it both on my Twitter and on uh, my, my channel page here on DSP Gaming. The only reason why he's bringing up this one comment is because it's the one nice person that actually told him, quote unquote, how it is when it's really not how it is. But meanwhile, you have multiple people in his chat telling him he's doing good, but he throws them to the side and just focuses on this one. Why? No idea. And I don't have it. I didn't screen cap it. It was pretty dumb, but I'm just going to kind of read it. Someone left this comment on the video where I hit master rank with Honda. Again, it was all based around spam. Said, yes, sir, hard work pays off. It's crazy how other channels will just po post your L's and your rage, but no progression or any of your wins. Congrats on getting master rank. Well, here's the thing about the person that made that comment. We have seen his progression, and when he wins, he gloats every single time that he wins a match or he wins a set. He makes himself look like the better player when he's just spamming all the way through. So for this person to say that we don't look at his progression, we don't look at his wins, we do. It's very toxic and it makes him look like a sore winner because he complains when he wins. But at the same time, seeing him lose all the time is a little bit more enjoyable. To which I responded, thank you for saying it. And I yeah, thank you for saying it. Even though he could have said thank you so much for this heartfelt comment. Yeah, I really appreciate it. No, instead he looks at that comment and says, thank you for saying it. I've been saying this the whole time. He gave a thumbs up and I like faved the post or whatever. And this is very true. Even though it's not true because the majority of the detractor community has seen your progression and it's never fun. Because I am not part of the FGC. All right. I don't strive to be. Even though this has nothing to do with the FGC at all. All right. As you guys know. But why did he bring up the FGC? Because he's trying to prove a point that he's still got it. That he's a better Street Fighter that player than everyone else in the FGC. Which, we all know that's a bunch of bullshit. All right. Because I'm not focused on Street Fighter as my primary thing. Even though you've been doing it for a good long while. I mean, for God's sake, the majority of your streams are fucking Street Fighter. So him saying that, it's not a main focus, but yet, come tomorrow, he'll be playing Street Fighter 6. Okay, I don't have FGC support. I don't have many people or any people really in the FGC who follow me. Well, no, 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 they do follow you, Phil, but not for the reasons that you think. Instead, you're thinking that, oh, I wish I had the support from the FGC, but... No one in the FGC wants to support you because you are an asshole to everyone in the FGC. Okay, I'm both new guard and old. Let's continue. I'm a fringe guy. 
I'm on the edges. If anything, what I've shown is that just what I've said over the years is absolutely true. Oh my god, he's saying that he's fridge and he's over the edge. He's like, Phil, you have fallen off the edge years ago, and my fucking god, change the F to a C, and that's what you are. Cringe. If I commit the time and the effort to becoming good at a fighting game, I can be good at a fighting game again. No, no you can't, Phil. I'm sorry to tell you this, but not really sorry. You do not apply any time or effort into any game that you play. Instead, you're going to try to find complaints about it. Oh, the connections are bad. Oh, this fucking opponent is being spammy and scrubbing, even though they're playing the game better than him. Oh my god, Capcom did this. Oh my god, FGC did that. It's like, he wants to make up constant excuses to why he's never good at anything, painting him more like a victim. When in reality, it's making them look like an asshole and a douchebag. So anyway, thank you to the person who sent me the nice message. Yeah, thank you to that one person that sent that comment. But fuck everyone else that sends me nice comments. This one was more special. Step it up, fuckers. Now, hilariously, this morning, I'm just on Twitter checking for news. We have a few news articles to talk about today. And yet, he now calls it Twitter and not X, even though he kept making the joke about, oh, it's X now. Oh, it's X now. It's like, Phil, we know you're trying to make a joke, and you're not a comedian. And there's a post, of course, from one of my detractor idiots saying, I have clipped the moment where Phil told someone who says that they are suffering from depression that, hey, at least they're not playing Honda and Street Fighter, okay? Now, for the one in question, I actually do have the clip right here. And here's the clip right here. So, yeah. God damn. Thank you to True Wiz for okay. the super chat. I'm drunk. I'm eating burgers. I'm depressed. God bless you. Well, don't be depressed. Do your best to not be depressed. Well, Phil, I'm, I am know I'm interrupting this clip, but Phil, telling someone to not stop being depressed, you have nothing to be depressed over, is the worst thing to tell someone who is suffering from depression. Instead, just makes it worse because they have that sense of hopelessness about the future. For someone that claims that he has depression, he has no idea how to talk to people with it. Don't be depressed. You're not trying to grind with Honda the Master in fucking Street Fighter 6. So you shouldn't be depressed at all. <laughs> this oh, you shouldn't be depressed at all. Look what I'm doing. It's depressing. I'm trying to get my way to, blo to E Honda's Master Rank. Oh, that's more depressing than what you're going through. Getting drunk and eating to numb the pain. This, this is true depression. Trying to win with this fucking character. When every top tier character has the job on this guy. Even though there are people who have played E Honda and actually know how to go up against those characters, so Phil is a bunch of, well, a bunch of bullshit right here. Seriously, Jade, I have no idea when we're playing World Tour next. I have no idea either, but you know what? It's time to go back. <laughs> it's time back go. It's hilarious because this moronic idiot, this mouth drooler, clipped a moment out of context on my stream, acting as if. It's something that's real. Even though the clip I just showed was entirely real. This is something you said, Phil. And was it out of context? In this case, fuck no it's not. But you love to bring up the argument that it's taken it out of context. It's paid me in a negative light. Oh, boo-hoo. Where? Well, I'm a victim. Give me money, please. Okay? So what happened was there was someone on stream last night who came by and said that they were feeling depressed. And they tagged me in the chat. Now, I'm playing ranked Street Fighter 6 with Honda trying to hit Master. Uh, no, Phil. As the clip I just showed, it was a super chat. You got the perfect KO with E Honda. You read the super chat. And immediately you went, oh, no reason for you to be depressed. You have nothing to be depressed about. So, again, he's making this up. What the fuck does that have to do with the stream? Well, it's tying to what the topic is of the day, which is depression, which is the one thing I do not want anyone to experience. It's the worst feeling in the world. I do not want people to experience that. I get it. It happens in life, but you do not want to suffer from it. And if you do have those thoughts of depression, there's always people to talk to. And if you need help, there's always a therapist that is willing to help you with your the struggles. But again, Phil is just looking here like, oh, why does this have to do with depression? What the fuck? Nothing. It's a blatant attempt to derail the stream. 
even though it wasn't derailment, you were done with the match and you read it. Nothing about derailment, Phil. You're not going to come to a Street Fighter VI ranking stream to get advice on depression. It's Even though they weren't asking for advice, Phil, they were just saying that they were feeling depressed. It's not going to happen. This person is obviously doing this to derail the stream to try to distract me. It's uh, no, Phil. Do I need to go back to the part where you read it and it was a super chat? Thank you to True Wiz for a super chat. <laughs> Very common tactic that people do, especially when I'm playing Street Fighter. Let's try to bring up unrelated topics and controversy and dumb shit so that Phil can get his mind rattled and he fucks up. Uh, Phil, there are some people that don't do that at all and you still ban them for it. Yet you're thinking that this is a smart way to go about this, but it's not. It really isn't. It happens all the time, okay? So If it happens all the time, just ignore your fucking chat. Just ignore it. I mean, you could always hide the chat, but no, you want to see when people give you super chats and members and tips. So, how do I respond to it? I'll tell you how I respond to it. With a joke. No, didn't sound like a joke to me, Phil. I'm not going to be serious about it. I said, I'm really sorry to hear you're not feeling good. Uh, no, you didn't. I mean, I'm going back to that for you. I'm drunk, I'm eating burgers, I'm depressed. God bless you. Well, don't be depressed. Do your best to not be depressed. Right? Hopefully you feel a little better after you watch me play Street Fighter 6. Hey- Again, you did not do that. Don't be depressed. You're not trying to grind with Honda the Master in fucking Street Fighter 6. So you shouldn't be depressed at all. <laughs> this this is true depression. Trying to win with this fucking character. When every top tier character has the job on this guy. At least you're not grinding in this game with Honda. Look how hard it is to get wins at this level with Honda. It's like a nightmare. And it Again, you did not say this. Instead, you're taking what you said and you're trying to over-exaggerate and paraphrase it to make it look like a joke when it was not a joke. It would just make you feel worse, right? Again, you didn't say that at all. So it's a joke. And everyone watching the stream knows that. No one knew that it was a joke, Phil. Because anything that comes out of your mouth that is considered a joke does not come across as a joke and nobody can read the frames and read the room. I love how I mentioned read the frames because it's Street Fighter. Fuck me. But these fucking morons will take a clip out of context and say, see, Phil is actually trying to give real advice on depression. What a horrible person. This is his take on depression. Uh, Phil, nobody said that it was you giving advice. It was you trying to say that you're telling a joke when someone was eating the pain away, trying to drink themselves to numb the pain. And yet you're sitting there going, oh no, at least you're not doing what I'm doing. That's even more depressing. That's what you're doing. Hey, stupid. I have depression, you dumb fuck. I actually have it. Uh, no, no, you don't. I'm going back for a minute, and I'm going to slow this the fuck down. No, not captions. I want to slow this down. Just look at his lips. Stupid. I have depression. You dumb fuck. I, I actually have it. And right there, when he's saying that he has depression, he is trying his best to hide that smile. And it is pathetic. Phil, I get the fact that you were going through depression once upon a time. But here's the issue here. You're using it as a convenient tool to make yourself look like a victim. That is something that you do not do. And another thing is that you're proclaiming you have depression, but you were never diagnosed by a therapist, by a psychologist, by a psychiatrist as well, that you have depression. Instead, you self-diagnosed yourself into believing you had depression when you did not. Instead, it turned into a fucking pity party. You swallowed in your own fucking pity that you made it all about you. Look, guys, feel sorry for me. Feel sorry for me. People with depression do not say that they have depression or they're going through it. Instead, they lie and say that they're fine. I should know because I've seen that firsthand. I have experienced this firsthand. It's not a good feeling. But Phil's sitting there going, yeah, I had depression. Look, I had depression, you fucking idiot. But I'm going to play this as normal because honestly, it's going to get worse. I know what it feels like. 
all right? So if I know what it is, do you think I'm going to give bad advice about fucking depression? I didn't give the guy any advice. I made a joke about Street Fighter VI. You didn't make a joke about it, Phil. You tried to say what you were doing was worse than what they're experiencing. What was that person dealing with to make them eat and drink themselves? What made them try to numb the pain, Phil, or try to feel something? You don't know what people are going through when they have depression. It could be a bad breakup, a death in the family, a death of a pet. It could be a lot of things that could factor in depression. It's a thing, Phil. Hell, pregnancy is another one, too, where people who are pregnant and as soon as they give birth, they have postpartum depression, which after giving birth, they feel worthless. They feel useless. And it sucks for people that have actually gone through that. But you do not know what it's like for people to go through depression, and you didn't even know what it's like to go through depression either. Instead, it's your way to say, hey guys, I have depression, give me money so I can ther like be therapeutic, and be like, oh yeah, I'm relaxing. I need this, guys. A mental health day. When Phil, your entire existence on the internet has been nothing more than a mental health day. You're a fucking idiot. Get fucked. Yeah, oh fuck. God, the mush mouth is coming out today. You stupid loser who thinks you know anything about anything in real fucking life. You know nothing. Oh, really, Phil? I know nothing about depression. Fun fact. I almost came close to ending it all, Phil. I came so fucking close. But I didn't go through with it. Want to know why? Because someone stopped me. And I thank that person every fucking time I see them. So you know nothing of depression. You know nothing about being numb. So shut the fuck up. You're the epitome of a waste of life. And there you go. Someone that has gone through depression and you're saying you went through depression would not tell people that they are a waste of fucking space. That they're a waste of fucking life. You want to know why that's a bad thing to do? Because they might end it all. A permanent solution to a temporary problem, Phil. That's what they call it. And no one should go through with it. But you have no fucking problem if people do that. To try to take an out of clip con or out of text co context clip and say that I said something bad about depression when I fucking have it. You don't have it, Phil. All you have is self pity. That's all you have, not depression. Get fucked, really? No, really. Go fuck yourself. You're a loser. You have no power over anyone on this planet. If you disappeared today, no one would care. And there we go. So he wants people to go away. He wants people to be drop, drop, like dropping dead from the face of the fucking earth. That's what he wants. He wants all the detractors to go away. People that made content on him or called out his fucking bullshit to go away. And this is the person that thinks he deserves everything. He doesn't deserve anything. That's the truth of the matter. So go make as many clips as you fucking want with your loser circle. Yeah, wow. He, what, what, that was your depression talking? That was my depression. That's a, like a goaded fucking clip. Because he would try to point, like push everything to the side. Push all the blame away from him and blame it on depression. Again, he uses it as a weapon to defend himself, painting himself as a victim. But yet he'll use it as a way to attack people who don't really deserve it. It's really fucked up on his part. Okay, so, that's what I mean. And yet, he goes back to normal. It's like, I had depression. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back to what we're talking about, guys. Yeah, all happy, rainbows and unicorns and sunshine. Fake is what this person is. And all that shit, that, all the positivity and happiness, it's all fake. He's never a happy person, but yeah, he'll proclaim that he is. When all people do is they take thing, the negative out of context, or they do whatever they can to make you look bad? Well, uh, Phil, I'm gonna bring this back. Thing, the negative, out of context, or they do whatever they can to make you look bad? Yep, I'm stopping it right there. That is a good fucking freeze frame right there. Because that's what Phil's doing. He's making other people look bad. He's making it all about him being the victim. 
he had depression, guys. And he does the little hand pose that he does. It's like, what the fuck, guys? I don't understand. Why do people not like me? Well, shit like this is why. It is. This is the reason why. And yet you want to say that we're painting you in a bad light when you're doing a good enough job doing that yourself. Phil, you are your own worst enemy. You are the creator of your own canvas. And all that I'm seeing from your canvas is nothing but the purest blacks with no bright colors. That's what happens. So what they'll do is they'll take what I just said, that clip I just did, and they'll take it out of context. And this is what he wanted. He wanted people to take what he said and clip it. Phil, what you did was paint yourself more as a villain. You've been doing this for many, 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 many years. Hell, you've been doing this since you're 15 years on this fucking website. You've been doing it, Phil. This is truly sad that he wants this attention. And yet, all the other people are creating drama about him. Yet, he's the one that's creating it more and more. And they'll say, you see, well, why did Phil say that? Oh, it doesn't matter why he said it, but here's what he said, right? Phil, we've seen why you said it and why you did this. Is because you're trying to paint yourself as a victim, but yet you're trying to use it as a way to use your words like bullets. Words are weapons, can leave people terrified, and it can also leave them paralyzed. But in your case, it makes you paranoid. So your last resort, running your mouth with no intelligent conversation to be had. No forms of intelligence are seeping out of your mouth. Because you don't think before you speak. Didn't your fucking parents ever teach you that, Phil? I said it because someone did something incredibly heinous. Someone did something incredibly nasty. Something so bad. And they do it every day, by the way. This is not just a serious uh, situation. You're taking something that could be considered not that deep, but you're painting it like this person murdered three children. You're creating a fictional narrative that this person did this, and it's the heinous, nasty, it's pathetic, oh, think of everyone, think about me, guys, I suffer through depression, oh, I have to defend myself, that's how you're treating this, Phil, painting someone in a negative light while you're doing a job painting yourself that way, this is bullshit, and they do it every day, Phil, you do it every day, you're sitting there on your fucking stream, pretending to not care about detractor content, but yet, for some reason, you talk about detractors on an everyday basis. Even on your day off, you're probably thinking about us. It's really sad, because at the end of the day, I'm not thinking about you. Instead, I'm thinking about what I'm going to make for dinner tonight. What I'm going to play. What, who am I going to talk with today? That's what I'm thinking about, really. Not, oh my god, Phil said that nasty thing. He told me to go end it all. Oh, oh, it's so sad. I can't sleep at night. Meanwhile, you're like sleeping there and then you wake up in a panic because you dropped up the tractors again. And they deserve to be treated like that. They do. Because people like that should never be treated with respect. Because they don't treat anyone else with respect. Hmm. Here's the thing about respect, Phil. Respect is earned. Never given. You have done nothing to earn respect. You have done nothing good in your life that will give you respect. People in the detractor community have done a lot more things that earns respect and earns props. You have nothing to show for your life. So all you're getting is disrespect and multiple middle fingers heading right your way. They need to be downgraded to what they really are. The scum at the bottom of the fucking barrel of YouTube. Okay, Phil, so we're going to treat... If you want us to be treated that way, then... Huh... You're making videos again, Phil? You're streaming again, Phil? Why don't you go get a real job? Because nobody wants you here. Is that what you want, Phil? Because you're thinking that that's what we should get, but in reality, that's what you should be getting on an everyday fucking basis. But we don't do that much because we're not scum like you are. We don't stoop to your pathetic little levels. That's how they should be addressed every time you address them. They should be talked down to because they don't deserve anyone's time. Yet, for some reason, you're saying this, but yet you're giving us all the time in the world. For someone that says you shouldn't give us any time of day, you're doing a good job giving us the time of day. You understand? So stop paying attention to bullshit, right? And thank you to a nice person 
who actually said, you know, I've actually watched all the gameplay. You really worked your ass off to get up to master level. He didn't really work his ass off at, at all. Instead, he just spammed his way through, half-assed everything, didn't even bother learning anything. And yet he's thought, oh my god, I got master, guys. Oh, such hard work. Never touching this character ever again. That should be respected. You're actually good at Street Fighter VI. But how many people say... No, that should not be respected. You want to know why that shouldn't be respected? Because you've done nothing good throughout that entire progression. Instead, you talk down to the opponents you're fighting, calling them scrubs, calling them every single insult that you could think of in the book, while not doing any better. That's why you don't deserve respect for that. I'm certainly never going to respect you for that. But yet, everyone's entitled to their opinion, I suppose. Say that one. Even though you've had multiple people in your fan base giving you a lot of these comments. But yet that one stuck out the most. Because, oh, that means I'm being respected by that one person. But meanwhile, all the rest of your following is actually doing the exact same thing. And you just push them to the side to let that one person get on that pedestal. The dent of the year, I suppose. How many idiots talk shit about me in Street Fighter 6? Thousands. How many times have you talked about us and you called us idiots? Thousands of times. Make that tens of thousands. Because they're dumb. There's too many dumb people on Earth. Well, yeah, that's a go figure statement there, Phil. But out of these people that you proclaim to be dumb, how many of them done better than you have? How many people actually busted their ass to get where they are in life? How many people have actually struggled to get to where they're at? I'm going to tell you right now, Phil, it's a lot more than whatever you went through. And, you know, it's depressing. That, you want to know what's depressing? That's depressing. Oh, great. Now he's making a joke about depression or making a statement about depressing things, even though he tried to tell people to, oh, I don't know, end it all so I don't have to deal with your bullshit ever again. The fact that there's that many dumb asses on Earth who are just happy to revel in misery and toxicity, whether it's real or not, if it's manufactured, they still don't care. Phil, you're the one that does not fucking care. You're the one that doesn't care about anything that spews out of your mouth. Because at the end of the day, you're like, well, that's another day's of content. Time to do it again tomorrow until I get my day off. But on the other hand, you do care. You care that detractors in the community are actually better at making content than you are. They're actually more intellectually sound than you are. More factually correct, as you would say. But you don't like it, and you want to talk about it because you have nothing better going on in your life. This is their life, to sit there and just shit on other people. What a worthless existence. Hmm. Projection is strong. Phil is just shitting on people all the goddamn time, but yeah, he's trying to push it on the detractor saying, oh yeah, these people shit on people the most, but I have done it. I'm a fucking pure-hearted soul. If all those people disappeared overnight, this planet would actually be more a positive place. For you. Not for anyone else. For you. Because that way, you'll have nobody calling you out for the shit that you're doing. That's why you said it, Phil. Because, all in all, if detractors leave, then you have nothing. You have nothing to show for it, and you won't have many people to give you fucking views. You won't have anyone to talk about in your podcast. Because you'll be boring. That's why you bring us up. So, in reality, I'm thinking, you don't want us to go away. But you're going to say that to pull up, like, a tough front. Because you're scared to, like, go into irrelevancy. But they don't get that. They don't understand that they need to turn their lives around and become better people. Even though, like I said, most of the people in the detractor community are better people. They've done a lot more better things than you have in your entire existence. Funny how life works, isn't it? Because people allow them and, and promote and give them a, a level of success that they don't deserve. Uh-huh. So, going back to you, you had a fucking platform to make money off of you were promoted to hell and back and then you lost that promotion or you lost that fucking network and you joined another network to try to get promoted to try to make money out of it to enable your toxic behavior and now you're a self crowdfunded individual as you like to proclaim 
it's sad that you're trying to like paint everyone else as failures when the biggest failure is you. This website in cell, YouTube, has degraded itself down to the toxic levels of drama constantly for nothing. For what? For money? Uh, Phil, didn't you praise YouTube for being a part of your 15-year legacy? And yet you're making money off of it and you're using it as your platform to stream? You're using it as a platform for you to interact with your audience, in quotes, to make money off of it? So that comes, that says a lot coming from you, Phil. So ruin the internet for money. Wow, that sounds like a great idea. Not a lot of people are focused on drama shit, Phil. Instead, there's a lot of things on the internet that's a lot better things than just drama. Cat videos. Cooking videos. There's fucking videos of AI presidents playing video games. Let's plays. People are doing walkthroughs, reviews, and they're having a great, like a grand old time talking about them and doing those videos because they enjoy it. But you seem to think that in your little bubble, everyone watches drama content, but never positive content, which shows how shallow minded you really are. You know, when I started on YouTube, everyone was positive and excited. Wow, there's free content on the internet. Well, then again, there was always free content on the internet, Phil. People playing games and showing their passion for something. Even though he's going to say that he did this, which he did not. He barely had a passion in the beginning, but as soon as he became more obsessed with how much money he would make from it, his passion faded away, and he's looking at it like fucking dollar bills and big old money bags. That's what he's looking at it. But when he's not getting that, it's not worth it to him. And it's free, and I every day I can just come to, to, to YouTube and turn on a YouTube channel and watch a bunch of people having passion for whatever they do. Singing, dancing, art, you know, literature, uh, you know, uh, you know, mu in musical instruments or, or art or a craft or a forte, you know, either a guru with something. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, I could have summarized this in multiple, like, you could say this, uh, multiple forms of media, literature, music, gaming, fucking politics. You could do all that, but Phil wants to make it overly complex and become mushy mouth by the minute. You know, you could talk about politics and religion, and it was welcomed instead of controversial. But here's the thing without the phone. I'm stopping him for right there. It depends on what the topic is and what the opinions that that person might have. Because Phil says that there is no controversy. When in reality, there is controversy. You say one thing, they will not agree with you. And they will tune out and go to someone else that finds it a point that they can agree with. So there is a form of controversy. Granted, Nowadays, there's more controversy. But back then, there was still fucking controversy. You could play video games and show how your love for games every day. People loved it. Yeah, they loved it, Phil, and then you took advantage of it. Today, it's like, no matter what, we have to just destroy everyone and be a toxic idiot just to make money. Then again, Phil, you're trying to do the exact same thing. Trying to spread around misinformation about detractors with your conspiracy theories and talking about, oh, they're in it for the money, but meanwhile, you're begging for money. Like, what the fuck is wrong with people? I ask the same thing about you, Phil, every time I make a video about you. You know? But that's life, I guess, right? I'm still here. I'm happy to still have a positive audience that loves what I do. AKA the ones that give him money to keep his channel on life support a little while longer. He doesn't care about the good well wishes that people give to him. Instead, he just likes it when people give him money. It's just sad that the audience is so small compared to the amount of morons out there who just like the toxic nonsense that's made up on a daily basis. I thought you didn't care about us, Phil. I thought you didn't care about the negative toxic bullshit that you're proclaiming. But then again, we are dancing around your head singing Kumbaya, my lord. Because the truth is, yes, I do get angry at Street Fighter 6. Well, that's an understatement, Phil. Absolutely. But if you listen to the things I say when I'm angry, they're actually they're tr truthful. No, they are not, Phil. No, they're fucking not. The top tiers are broken. No, they're not, Phil. Most of the top tiers are balanced. Cammy is weak, but makes up for it with speed and agility. Jury, same thing. Makes it up with her kicks. Makes it up with her EX moves. But then again, you don't want to look into this 
but you want to say that you're better than everyone else and you know what you're talking about. They call you Mr. Know-it-all. Do you think you're eloquent? Perfection is your middle name and whatever rhymes with eloquent. They're way overpowered compared to the rest of the cast. It's very hard to use a non-top tier against a top tier. Even though you used Blanca, which is considered somewhat of top tier. S minus, but still considered top tier. But you're saying that you're playing as a mid-tier character when you're really not. Because the top tiers have all the advantages. Even though all the characters can have certain advantages, it depends on how you play those characters. There are people that can play as Kimberly, Jamie, E. Honda, Zangief, and they know how to play those characters well. But you don't want to think about that. Unless it's Snake Eyes and you want to pull down his pants and suck down his geef, I guess. It's just a truthful fact about Street Fighter VI. Even though what you're saying is not truthful and it's coming across as a lie. Usually it's like that with every fighting game. And if I'm angry... But then again, Phil, you've not played any of the other fighting games. Only Street Fighter VI. Angry because I'm losing to it, I'm going to call it out. All right? Yeah, what, are you going to say the heat of the moment? There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there is, Phil, because you have nothing to back it up. If someone's just literally mashing a pattern online, I have the right to criticize their gameplay and say they suck. Well, then again, I could do the same thing back at you, Phil, because that's what you're doing. You're mashing a pattern over and over and over. And whenever you're trying to win, you spam multiple fucking times. We've seen it with your Blanca, and we're definitely seeing it with your E-Honda. Because they do. They're not good. Neither are you, but yet you're thinking that you're the best. When I played actual known ranked players who were great players from tournaments, I called it out and said, they're amazing. They actually outplayed me in a massive way, and I really respected them. No, you didn't. Nephew, you called him a pattern player. You kept calling him that. The only reason why you called him out saying he's one of the better ones is because someone told you. And then when Snake Eyes came on, you went full on clown mode and you wanted to bend over and spread your cheeks and let them go to town on you. Versus a moron going, duh, playing a pattern over and over. You can't do anything about it because the character's overpowered. Even though that's what you were doing, the patterns, and then complaining whenever your moves were dropping, and you kept slamming your hooves on the fucking fight pad, that $350 fight pad. That's valid criticism of the game. Not really, Phil. Just because you're an idiot who doesn't understand the game... Like you. ...doesn't make my criticism invalid. It, just it is invalid. It makes you an idiot. Okay. Yeah, you're the one calling other people idiots, but yet you look like an idiot right now. Okay. Yeah, I get angry and I get heated. I get agitated. My adrenaline levels go up. People enjoy seeing that. Uh, hmm. So, let's keep this in mind. Phil has said that people that like the content of people getting angry and raging, that they're idiots for doing it. But now he's saying that people like it when he gets angry and raging. Which is it, Phil? Do they like it or do they not? Please make up your mind. But that doesn't mean I'm not good at Street Fighter. Yeah, and I love how he has to look all smug when he's talking about that tune. Ugh. What the fuck is up with his fucking face here? <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna just slow that down right about here. and Let's go. That doesn't mean I'm not good at Street Fighter. Yeah, it doesn't mean I'm not good at Street Fighter. Yeah, look at me looking all smug. Look at me thinking that I'm a know-it-all when it comes to Street Fighter. herp a der -a -der. And let's just, let's just move on. It means the opposite. It means I'm angry because I'm good at Street Fighter, and it pisses me off that I lose to bullshit. <laughs> you saying that you're good at Street Fighter, and you're losing the bullshit? Oh, you're mad because you're good at Street Fighter? That's... Not good! That's not a good outlook, Phil. But then, when I'm hitting multiple master ranks, that doesn't matter, right? Oh, none of that doesn't mean anything. Because you're still doing the same thing over and over, complaining about things that are completely invalid. Right? No. Fuck you. And you get a master, it doesn't really mean jack shit, but yet you're gonna say that, Oh, it's a milestone, you guys! Nobody cares. You don't know mean nothing to me or anyone else who has a brain in their fucking head between their two ears. Yet, you're talking about us, and you're talking about the idiots multiple times, saying that you don't care, and you're lying to yourself. It really means that you do care. You, you and your group of losers can keep being losers until you have a valid point. We're all still waiting. Uh, Phil, we have made multiple valid points against you multiple times. You just don't want to hear it. The fingers in the ears, and you're screaming la 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 la, that's what you're doing all the single damn time. Really? We're all still waiting for your point. You haven't had one yet. 
Uh, we're way down yours, Phil. What point are you trying to make with this? Oh, right. You're not making a point. Instead, you're just like, oh, yeah, I made a point. Uh, we can call you on any point that you made. Saying that you used oppression as a way to get money out of people. Your fucking gameplay is mostly spam tactics. Oh, wait, no, you don't like that because that's not a valid point in your book. Your points are just nonsensical things that you repeat ad nauseum like a bunch of parrots or sheep. Hmm, sounds like you. You're repeating the same thing over and over that you don't care about detractors, but yet you're repeating that over and over and over, trying to lie to yourself to make sure that it's truth when it's actually fiction. Because you're so dumb. You have a bunch of dumbest people, the dumbest bottom of the barrel people on the planet, all circle jerking each other off on the internet. Jesus Christ, Phil. My God. You're, what's your obsession with watching people do a circle jerk? Does that get you off or something? Like, I really want to know. It's like, is Cat like your beard and you just like watching other people jerking themselves off? We really want to know. So while he pretends that detractors don't mean anything to him while they mean something to him, he wanted to play Starfield and honestly, it was just incredibly fucking boring. He complained that the game crashed on him and that hype that he was so hoping for died with it. Kept complaining that the game was boring and just him being boring boring and i just moved on from it so he did play chrono trigger for some reason i'm gonna end this video off with chrono trigger this game has gone on long enough yes 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 now wait a minute you guys are, are wishing my wife a happy birthday it is not her birthday yet even though her birthday is on the 6th so yeah happy birthday cat i'm surprised you're still with the pig for this long her birthday is tomorrow yeah, and I love how immediately he looks at it. Doesn't even make the snorting noise. Like, doesn't even look like he's snorting. But yet, yeah, makes the little grunt little pig noises. You guys are slightly early. Slightly early. And? Why is her birthday wishes coming early a bad thing, Phil? Uh, but I would tell her that people remembered and wish her happy birthday. I at least they fucking remembered. You fucking didn't. I will tell you. I will tell her. Uh, her that, that people said that tonight on the stream. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he'll forget. She's currently playing Starfield, so. Yeah, because guess what? She's having more of a time than you are. She's definitely not watching Chrono Trigger. She's definitely playing Starfield. <laughs> then again, she doesn't really watch your content at all, Phil. And that's really sad. For someone that supports your fucking streams, it supports your livelihood. It's a shame that she doesn't help out. Oh, we are going out. On, our day out this week is Thursday. So when we go out on Thursday, we're going to have a nice dinner together, which, of course, I'll tell you about on the Level 1 podcast on Friday during the Phil's Day Off segment. Yeah, guys, you got to hear about the time that we went to that Mexican restaurant or that sushi restaurant that we went to, and it was all paid by for you. I mean, with our hard-earned money, guys. So tomorrow, we, we couldn't coordinate our day off properly with her birthday. Which, that's kind of sad, though, because most jobs are actually more lenient towards them. If they want a day off with a good reason, they will actually give them the day off. But it's always di like different, depending on the job, I suppose. Because of the way that things have aligned yeah. recently. You know, things but. change when, you know, <laughs> you move across the country and now, you know... I I've told you guys about our schedule, how crazy it is. Like, Cat yeah. is already out the door working when I wake up. Pretty much. And then I'm working all day. She comes home usually around the end of my stream. Then we're cooking and eating. And then at night, we each have to stay you all. Know, usually I'm streaming. She's doing stuff, you know, going to the gym yeah. or doing stuff. And then at night, it's time to go to sleep, you know. It's like, where is there time during the day to do stuff anymore? Yeah. It's crazy how fast, you know, time flies, so... I'm not going to lie, I, I was going to cut this part out, but just looking at them interacting with each other, it looks incredibly fucking awkward. Like, she doesn't want to be there, he doesn't want her in there, but yet, for some reason, he allowed her to come in for a stream or two, and she provides nothing. Provides nothing of substance. Instead, just her, like, looking away on yeah, and then looking away into the chat or at Phil, it's just boring wow they're perfectly made for each other so tomorrow she just wants to stay home all day and play starfield because she loves it uh huh so couldn't correlate anything for her birthday but she wants to stay home and play starfield yet you have to work what? So let's do that. You stay home all day tomorrow. Just relax and play Starfield. I'll stream. And then we'll go out together on Thursday and have a nice dinner out. So
Kyle, that's kind of bad, though, because you're already correlated that she has a day off on Wednesday, a.k.a. on the 6th today when I'm recording this. So you could go out on the 6th on her birthday to do shit. But no, instead you're like, oh, I'm going to be working, honey. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to do anything for your birthday. Well, happy birthday while I go stream. Yes, that is the real Derek for now anyway. Sadly, because Derek has lost his gifted membership, tons of, of idiots try to come in and impersonate him. So don't be surprised if all of a sudden tonight, if Derek sticks around, you see other Dereks coming in saying messed up stuff. Even though never happened, but Phil likes to paint people as a victim. And yet he's also a victim, so it kind of checks out. Phil likes to defend shitty people and paint them as victims. Uh, if Derek ever gets his gifted membership back, that'll help out with that. We'll see what happens, you know. Please give my son a gifted membership. Please give him one. I implore you to reconsider giving him a gifted membership. Actually, people have been pretty generous during the Chrono Trigger streams. We've had a few people who've come by and gifted memberships during these streams particularly. So we'll see what happens tonight. Maybe that'll happen. Yeah, and it was mostly by your whales that come in and give you memberships, but yet nothing, nothing comes from it. Just your normal whales. We got enemies. It's time to fight. Oh, yep, it's time, it time fight. Can I walk right past them? What happened? You're kidding me? The game froze. Ah. Ha! You know, because this mini PC is really good, you guys! Oh, come on! Good thing we just saved! The game literally just froze up. It's a glitch. Look. Game freezing is a glitch? <laughs> I don't understand how he thinks that a game freezing up is a glitch. A bug, maybe, but it's not a glitch. It could be a game crashing bug, but at least he didn't get that, sadly. The music keeps playing, but the game completely froze. Yeah, look. Well. Yeah, the game froze, but yet he could still go into this. Uh, Phil, your controller might have been, you know, dead. I can't even. What the hell? I can't even move around here. Look. Eh, maybe this controller is not dead, but still, what the hell happened? What is going on? It's called your mini PC overheated. Better put on some cooling gel on it, stat! What the hell? I think it's Steam that's freezing up, because I can't even move around in this menu either. No, Steam's not messing up, Phil. It's you. No, my controller's still on. Look. Oh. Yeah, look, and good lord, that looks extra pixelated. Like, what the fuck? Is it censoring the controller? What, maybe I unplug and replug? <laughs> God damn it, that was actually good. Look, it's all fucked up. <laughs> uh, 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 it's all fucked up, guys. Time to go clown mode. What on the holy hell happened? I guess. Yeah, but imagine this being a YouTube short. We're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get up to the keyboard and mouse and have the whole thing kind of restart. Good thing we just saved, huh? Yeah, good thing we just saved, huh? Now I gotta get up and may I might fart in the mic again. <laughs> Fuck me, man! Come on! Alright, so a couple of things. Number one, I would like to stand up and stretch a little bit, everyone. So if you could bear with me while I do that. Oh no, old man has to get up and stretch, huh? Number two, just want to remind everyone, if you're enjoying tonight's stream, please support it in some way. Please give me money because I had the game crash on me. Easy way to support is by liking the stream. We're at 52 likes. I like 100 per stream. Yeah, he wants to build up his algorithm, but it's not doing jack shit for him. For engagement purposes, it would be great if we get 100 tonight. I'll he wants to blow his goddamn bubbles. Inside of that, anything is appreciated. Currently, we have zero super chats. A boo. -hoo. So a super chat tonight would be nice. Two new members, thank you. Be great to get some more. My goal for today was 550. We're only at 542, so we didn't make much progress there. Yep, he didn't get his membership. Poor Derek. Uh, tips wise, we're at 17 bucks. Obviously, it'd be great if we could hit the tier one tips goal for today of 50 dollars. Which he did not get. Any of that would be greatly appreciated. Please give me money, or else my wife and I have to go eat lunch meat sandwiches for her birthday. <laughs> 
Alright, I'm just gonna get rid of this idiot. There's a guy in here who's like bringing up the most random stupid topics from the past. Completely like nonsensical. I'm just gonna get rid of him because he's trying to cause drama instead of ignore him. Yeah, so fun fact. People are talking about Taco Chan in this chat. You know, if you keep up with the Dency Scrolls, it was someone from his past that he would hit on. Even though they had a boyfriend, he still would hit on this person trying to get them to go with Phil. Which he was called out for, and he, he, which gave us that great clip of, I'm an alcoholic, I don't get it, why are y'all attacking me? Stupid idiot. Okay. Get yeah, stupid idiots, right? Get the fuck out of my channel. And so we have come to the conclusion of this video, and my god, I just don't understand why Phil wants to paint himself as a victim while making himself look more like the villain with each turning stream. He says that he knows what depression is, but yet, he's telling other people to end themselves while proclaiming that he was telling a joke about he they shouldn't be depressed and that what he was doing was more depressing than what they're going through. It's like I mentioned before, Phil, you don't know what goes on in a person's life, what makes them depressed, or what they're dealing with to make them feel emotionally numb. Instead, Phil wants to use his self-pity as a way to call it depression so he can weaponize his words and weaponize his tactics to be defensive to make him look like the cowering victim, but yet wants to make himself look like an asshole trying to defend himself with aggression. Honestly, it's really pathetic. To quote the lyrics from Seether's Words as Weapons, it's oh so playful when you demonize, to spit out the hateful, you're willing and able, Words are weapons, I'd be terrified. You're nothing in my world.